Hey guys, this is Piyush, Piyush Kumar. Today I'll just start with geology section. But before starting, I wanna explain some facts about biology. So let's start biology. What is biology? We generally move toward the generally accepted definition. Biology. Generally, this term was coined by Lamarck. and reverence now what biology means here bio of biology means life and logy generally derived from the logos which means study so biology is the study of life so this is the generally accepted definition which we generally study in the book but don't you think this is not enough with this platform with an academy i'll make you learn biology not to teach only i'm just here to make you learn so learn the biology and you will win by learning it now so i'll stick to a new definition of biology and just let you learn what the biology is biology biology is a branch of science which deals with living forms and their living reactions whether in vitro or ex vitro so here it is same it's a branch of science which deals with living forms but here i added the living reactions living reactions what this means so living reactions means a reaction which makes an organism living is known as living reactions now you will ask what is in vitro and ex vitro so in vitro and ex vitro are type of reactions whether it is taking inside the body or outside the body in a specially designed setup now this when you will just come to the second point i just explain biology is very wide form of science which includes more than 100 different varieties of subjects like taxonomy anatomy histology cytology physiology embryology ecology biogeography genetics and many more now but mainly biology is classified in two main subjects botany and zoology okay so generally we know what is zoology as i'm just going to start a zoology section so i'll tell you what is zoology so zoology generally deals with animal science and botany deals with plant science this is the basic accepted definition but how it just get classified zoology and botany i'll teach you so zoology and botany but when you'll just explain zoology zoology not only deals with the animal sciences as it deals with the all animal activities that plant can't perform why there is need why does zoology get uh, defined separately from biology separately from botany uh, we'll say because uh, it's uh, it's related to animal science no this is not only the reason that it is related to the animal science so it just get divided actually yeah it is related to animal science but the thing that separates or that divide the biology into botany and zoology the main reason is plant can't perform some activities like the animals can like mental stress migrations running let's take an example uh if an adverse situation came then 
plant can't run away as it is fixed as it is rooted but we generally uh, uh, if uh, let's take an example uh, if the temperature in northern areas in northern India increases then uh, we generally go to hill stations and uh, somewhere to spend our uh, spend holidays uh, so it's a basically a temporary migration so that we human or animals birds insects can perform but plant can't because their position is fixed so this is the main reason why the zoology is divided from botany and you can also call zoology is more complex than botany so zoology is more complex than botany so this uh, so this is the need to classify biology in botany and zoology mainly so always remember now i'll just conclusions on today's lesson what i just taught you so now if i'll ask you about biology then you will add always remember you will add living reactions to the existing definition what was the existing definition the existing definition was biology is a form of life sciences so you have to just add biology is the study of life sciences along with the living reactions whether in vitro and ex vitro so now the second point as i just taught you zoology are more descriptive part of biology as there are million of reactions and physiological function that is only limited to animals only now you will ask what is physiological function so physiological uh, physiological function uh, for example mental stress migrations so the performance that is performed by a physical body in accordance to to the environment is known as physiological functions now in vitro means i know you are just going to ask what is in vitro so in vitro means the reaction occurring in a body or in a living medium so always remember for example reactions so there are million of reactions that are making the living organism living for example digestion digestion is also in in vitro reactions fertilizations fertilizations inside the human body is also a in vitro reactions and the different reaction that is just taking place inside the human body or animal body that is known as in vitro reactions that uh, uh now ex vitro reactions ex vitro reactions are also living reactions it's for sure it's also an living reaction but it generally occur outside in a specially designed setup for example uh, have you heard the topic of tissue propagation so tissue propagation can be can also be carried out in some special setup like test tube have you have heard, uh, heard about test tube baby program yeah so th that is ex vitro that is uh, so that's also a living reaction but uh, then generally that is designed to perf be to be performed in a specially designed setup like test tubes here are the examples in vitro ex vitro now i'll just zoom into this see this is in vitro this is ex vitro now you can see in vitro in vitro generally takes takes you to the culture medium takes you to the callus medium takes to you just on a cellular level but ex vitro you can see on the organismic level here the uh, examples you can see in this figure this is a plant this is a born in plant but that's just a callus that's not a plant so basically that uh, that is uh, it is a cell 
extracted from the plant and it is just added into a nutritive medium and in this nutritive medium this will just grow up and just become into a mature plant so this is in vitro and this is ex vitro oh so finally we we'll, i'll ask you what we'll learn let's do practice um it's a picture let's take an example i'll just ask you what's this everyone will say it's mosquito yeah it is so what it deals is it a part of zoology or just a botany obviously it's a part of zoology but what's this what's this this is leaf this is flower bud so basically it's a part of botany it's a part of botany okay so uh, what is the basic difference uh, that we can uh, that here we can classify it into bo uh, in it into it into botany or zoology so basically uh, i can classify i can classify that this is a botany and this is a zoology section uh, by if i'll if i'll just create a response if i'll just uh, push the plant if i'll just hit the plant then uh, mosquito will run away will run away but plant can't plant can't so this is the reason that's botany and that this is zoology now i just told you what is in vitro and ex vitro now what is this this is ex vitro and also called in vivial fertilizations generally fertilizations those those portion who just can't perform fertilizations or those unfertile portions then with this setup with this process they can have their babies so this belongs to ex vitro and this process is known as in vivo fertilizations in vivo i'll repeat this process goes into ex vitro and this is in vivo fertilization now what is this i'll ask you what is this then you will say it's it's also from ex vitro and it's a tissue culture propagation it's a tissue culture propagations so this is plant tissue culture propagations now what is this this is also a tissue culture propagation but carried out with a mature plant not with the callus cell not with the callus cell so this is also ex vitro but if we'll start with a callus cell a small cell of this plant then this will be in vitro but it did not started with the callus cell so this is ex vitro now i'll zoom into this what's this this is birds what's this this is flower so this is biology this is botany this is botany but what's this what's this this is spider so this is not a botany part this is zoology part so now we just learned what is biology what is botany and what is zoology so here's my first chapter to learn to make you learn biology to make you learn zoology and botany to make you well classified between botany and zoology so that, that's all my friend uh i hope you like the videos so like my videos thank you